Hey, what's up, chitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking the GOAT on a ride. If you guys remember, about a month ago, I broke the world record top speed on the E-Cells 5 Star. And today, I'm gonna to attempt to do the same on the, the Motor GOAT V3 here. You can also see I'm not alone today. I have a Sir Ronster clone who uh, actually decided to ride a Talaria Sting now. It's not actually a trend why he's wearing a helmet. He's wearing the helmet. He's actually doing you a favor because he is extremely ugly. And uh, if I showed you his face, you'd probably vomit. But anyways, guys, that's enough small talk. What do you say we get out there on the trail and see if we can hit 60 miles an hour on the Motor Goat V3? Come on, guys, let's go. All right, guys, we are eventually making our way to the proving grounds where I broke the world record on the ESOS 5 Star. I mean, totally shattering the speeds those other YouTubers got. Electrified Latina with 43 miles an hour. Saw Mark from Trail Happy TV. He showed a clip of getting 44. So I have a, a full five miles an hour above those other YouTubers. But today we're trying to try it out on the GOAT. And you know guys, I got a couple tricks up my sleeve to try and eke out a couple more miles per hour. But we're gonna have to cross that bridge when we get to it. But you know guys, I wanted to bring something to your attention. As of right now, these bikes are selling for $24.99. But come July 1st, I, from what I hear, the tariffs are going to go into effect and the price on the motor goats are going to go up. I don't know exactly how much. So guys, if you're on the fence about buying one of these things, I don't mean to be pushy or try and rush you, but you may want to consider buying one now. And uh, Bryson over there said this color, the brown one, I don't remember the official name, should be in stock by the end of June and the gunmetal variant will be in stock in July. So. Guys, if you're interested in buying one of these, go to GoatPowerBikes.com. You can use my coupon code, shoot the chit, and as always, the link will be in the description of this video. So I did a couple of mods to this bike already, and I think it greatly improved the drivability of the GOAT. And these were parts I had lying around already from uh, my Wired Freedom. So I put the front 56 tooth chain ring. I believe stock on this is 46, and this thing would start ghost pedaling at like 20 miles an hour. This thing is geared really low. And I put the rear cassette from the Freedom on here as well, which is an 11 by 28 tooth freewheel. The stock one on this is a 14 by 28. So 11 to 14 doesn't sound like much, but that's actually, I believe, a 25% decrease in teeth. So that's made a huge difference. And I actually, you know, I'm going 25 now, but I feel resistance in the pedals again. Man, this bike gets up and goes. I really like riding this in pedal assist too. Unless I'm trying to like really go fast. I like to believe in this bike and pedal assist too and you can cruise right about 25 to 30 miles an hour. As of filming, this is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to any of you guys out there and if any of you ladies who are interested in help making me a father, uh, hit me up in the comments. I'm just kidding, not really, please do it. <laughs> oh God, almost wrecked. It's very windy right now. We're going into the wind, which is good because my top speed test I'm coming the other direction and I, I'm planning on shattering some world records and hurting some feelings, guys. You guys want, you guys ready for a sad story? I don't know if you guys are familiar, in this area, the squirrels love to just dart back and forth right in front of you when you're riding around. And uh, unfortunately, the other day, most of the time they miss you. I was riding my E-Ride Pro and this squirrel went right out in front of me and made contact with my rear wheel. And uh, yeah, guys, it was pretty sad, but uh, I looked back and it was laying in the middle of the path. And I was like, okay, it didn't make it. But you know, it was kind of the worst case scenario. That poor squirrel got up and it started hobbling off the trail and it went in its hole, but its poor back legs weren't working. So that, uh, that made me feel sad, guys. And, my sisters hit a squirrel. I, multiple people I know have hit squirrels. I don't know why their instincts are to just run right in front of you when you're riding, but those things apparently don't like being alive very much. Needed to get that off my chest. All right, guys, time for the first test of the day here. We're gonna go across the pipe of doom. <laughs> it's actually got a pretty big drop off to the sides there. All right, we're gonna go back across. 
you know, this is pretty scary in real life, guys, and it's not really that it's hard to do. It's one of those things that the more you think about it, the more your brain, your scumbag brain, wants you to go sailing off the side. But we did it, guys. push button. Sometimes guys I like to stop and point out some of the finer graffiti I see and look at this masterpiece right here. Your butt stinks. Wow that should be in a museum somewhere. This is funny look at this little peep show to the freeway. Hey guys I see you. What's going on out there huh? Where are you guys going? Get the remix on these. Wait 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Wait. This little stretch of the trail right here is the section where you absolutely don't want to uh, stop. So that's exactly the goal through here. You can always tell when you start seeing mathematical equations on the sides of the trail in graffiti form, that's when you know you probably don't want to stop. So there's a short little section here. Luckily for us, we can outrun the North American meth head. North American meth head it was clocked at about 22 miles an hour. Uh, we can both easily do over 30, so I think we're fine. But luckily, they're mostly nocturnal. So we're coming through here in the middle of the day. They're, uh, they're not sleeping, they're just hiding somewhere. Really nice trail though. All right, we're in a very uh, sparsely used section of the trail here. Because, whoa, you see those stupid squirrels? There's no houses around here. I mean, there's houses down the hill, but you can't walk to the trail from the house. So this section of trail follows the freeway here and it goes up and over this hill. And every time I'm out here, I pretty much have the whole thing to myself. You can see here, look, we're going right parallel to the freeway. Beautiful views of Highway 4, absolutely gorgeous. But we are almost at the proving grounds. Just coasting down this hill, guys. I'm gonna be saving the battery for the upcoming speed test. Because unfortunately, our little shortcut was closed off. So we're gonna have to take the long way around, which means climbing a short, uh, steep hill. This direct drive motor has like zero resistance when it's rolling, so it's like, this thing just wants to go and go and go, where the geared hub motors will kind of naturally slow the bike down. This direct drive will not. There's a Jedi in training right here. So we're going to have to go up this steep hill here. Oh, so far, no problem at all. So I was surprised if this is a really steep hill. I'm going up no problem right now in this, my highest gear, pedal assist two. We are putting out 3000 watts, which probably is why we're not having much of a problem going up the hill. The Talaria man is about at half of his battery. Starting to get a little bit of range anxiety. I'm not, because overall I think we're probably gonna be doing about 20 miles total. I'm interested to see, guys. I, my goal is to hit 60 miles an hour, which will place me firmly above all the rest of those other YouTubers. I'm really surprised at how well it's climbing this hill. We're doing 21, 22 miles an hour, and it's a, this is very steep. And look at this beautiful view we're rewarded with here. Check it out. That's the Dirty Delta. I think technically it's called the Russian River, but nobody in this area calls it that. They call it the Delta. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. It's important you wanna keep your hands on the handlebars at all times, because these bikes can be really unstable. Oh, look at this. This isn't even the proving grounds and we're doing 46 right here. 48, oh man, guys, I'm not on the power at all. 50 miles an hour, we just coasted to 50 miles an hour and I wasn't using the power at all. All right guys, we're at the top of the hill. We're gonna be going down, I'm gonna be going down and seeing how, oh dude, put your helmet back on, it's disgusting. Oh, sorry guys, I'll blur that out so you don't have to see it. 
Ugh. It was a little speed hack, and uh, guys, you heard it here first. It's called gravity, okay? So little known tr fact is when you're going down a hill, you will actually go faster than if you were going up that same exact hill. So that's, as a that's what we're going to be doing right now. I'm going to put this thing in pedal assist three, and we're going to give it full power. And my, my goal is to hit 60. I just cruised to 50 coming down this hill here without using any power at all. So I think 60 is achievable. But guys, remember... I'm a professional YouTuber, so guys, don't do this at home. If you want to do something like this, you're going to have to go outside. Because you can see I have all the proper safety gear on. I have all the pads and necessary gear. I'm taking this very serious. But anyways, guys, that's enough small talk. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit 60. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, and we're off. I'm at 59% battery. I'm going to just give it all the beans right away. We are at 30 miles an hour. 30, 40. 45, 50, 54, 56, oh yeah, come on 60, oh no, Fifty-seven. I'm pedaling pretty hard, come on, 58, 59, I was pushing pretty hard, guys. All right, guys, so I think I got 59. I'm gonna have to review the footage. Roll all, I think that's pretty impressive. I'm not sure at what mile per hour this bike cuts off power, but I was giving it a lot of juice with my legs. So 59 is pretty good. Overall, I think it's a successful trip. You know, I just wanted to come out and have some fun today, and uh, I'm okay. So has anyone beat 59, or safely am I the world record holder? So nice about going back to my house from that area is it's all at a slight downhill and like I just told, ex told you guys gravity helps you go downhill so yeah so hopefully you guys learn something from these videos leave a comment if you knew gravity existed before watching this video <laughs> the Telaria man's faster than me off the line there he is this bike feels so nice and stable with these street tires I really like it. I'm telling you guys, I'm not just shilling to get you to buy one of these bikes so I can get a commission. I actually really enjoy this bike. The least favorite part of this bike to me is, it's 105 pounds and I have to drag this thing up and down the stairs whenever I want to ride it. And it is not the easiest thing to bring up or down the stairs. Due to the way the frame is, I can't really get a good grab on it to get the front wheel high enough. So it's a, it's a struggle to get up and down the stairs. This bike has been a great commuter bike to go to the back and forth to the gym. Having a lot of fun with it because you can cruise like 30 miles an hour on this, no problem. And you can go 40 if you want to as well. You never be too safe, you know. You want the people around you to know you're there. So you gotta make noise, guys. It's for safety. See? It just saved our lives right there. You saw it in action. We're going with the wind, so it's just smooth sailing right now. Yeah, that's probably where that saying came from, huh? Ah, such a beautiful day out here. So I'm just learning how to ride. It's my first time riding a bike. Which one's the brake? Look, I'm doing a trick. You see that? I'm doing a trick. I'm gonna come up and make sure you stop at all stop signs. <laughs> well worth the price of admission for the GOAT bike alone. The power is only secondary to the screeching tire noise, in my opinion. Hey, who's winning? Okay, we're going to the curb of destiny. Will today be the day I do it again? Oh no. It might just be, guys. Huh? Huh? Oh no! I did like 98%. After you're done running me over, try the curb. <laughs> Telling you guys, it is much harder than you think. If that is what she said. If that's what he said. Try the curb of destiny one more time on the way out. Oh, whoa. Oh, man. 
Oh, not bad, about 60%. All right guys, we made it back. And what did we learn today? We learned that I am now the new Guinness Book of World's Record holder for 59 miles an hour on the Goat Motor Goat V3. We saw, quite possibly, the ugliest human being in the entire world. And we learned that uh, screeching the brakes is a great deal of fun. But guys, if you're interested in getting one of these before the tariffs go into effect, please consider using the link in the description of this video. Doing so does help support the channel. And your coupon code shoot the chit will save you 5% off your order. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.